So, Garnacho liked Mark Goldbridge's Twitter post, and Eric Ten Hag does not like that at all. Eric Ten Hag is going to lay down the hammer, apparently, and put Alejandro Garnacho in punishment for liking Mark Goldbridge's tweets. These are the tweets in question. Let's read them out right now. Mark Goldbridge tweets, Ten Hag subtly blaming Garnacho in the post-match press conference. Not a good look throwing a 19-year-old under the bus who has actually delivered for you this season. But then again, he's clearly scared of upsetting the bigger earners. Now, when I think of bigger earners in my head and who Mark Goldbridge could potentially be talking about, we're obviously could be talking about Bruno Fernandez, Marcus Rashford, um, Casemiro, Varane, those guys. Um, I'm pretty sure he's not talking about Maguire or Luke Shaw or Johnny Evans or any of those guys, but it is what it is. Um, Garnacho has been one of our best players this season, poor first half, but taking him off at halftime and holding him up as the problem is a joke. Many have done much worse week in, week out, and are still out there. So he's saying many have done much worse week in, week out, and are still out there. So Hmm, who who is um, Mark Goldberg talking about? Is he talking about Rashford, Bruno? Because I remember in a video, if my memory serves me right, when I dig back, I think he said um, in, in their names in particular, Marcus Rashford and Bruno Fernandez can fuck off out the football club. So I'm assuming he's talking about those two. He could be throwing in a few other people, but those are probably the most likely two that... Mr. Um, Goldbridge is going to be talking about here. Now, if you look at some of the stories and headlines that the news articles have come out with, do I not like that Ten Hag rebukes Garnacho for social media activity? Alejandro Garnacho rapped. Man United boss Eric Ten Hag ticks off winger. I mean, Alejandro Garnacho likes posts accusing Eric Ten Hag of throwing him under the bus. I mean, Garnacho's social media likes are an internal matter, where it's not an internal matter anymore. It's out everywhere. It's not an internal matter. It, that was gone, when, obviously, when Garnacho liked the tweet. But, I mean, this has been going on for a while. Eric Ten Hag, right, he's talking about, because I, I saw something, another article talking about he's going to punish um, Garnacho for um, liking Mark Goldbridge's tweet. Um, for one, it's freedom of speech. He can like whoever tweets he wants. And two, you should be punished as well. Um, last time I checked the table, we're 13 points off of top four. So, if we're talking about people being punished, um, everybody should be punished, Jen. Not just certain people. Every player should be punished. Management, all the managers, players should be punished. We're 13 points off of top four, and we're Man United. So, everybody should be punished. You should be running laps too, Tim Hogg. You know? Why, why is he supposed, why is he being the outcast right now? Just because he liked the tweet? Who cares? He can like whoever tweets he wants. And this just further proves that these guys do watch these videos. They do watch this Man United videos. Because remember, um, Marcus Rashford's brother told Saeed to stop talking bad about Rashford. So these guys clearly do watch these channels. Not saying my channel, but I'm just saying in general, these Man United channels, they watch these channels. They're listening to what these people are saying. Bruno Rashford, they probably heard stuff that Mark Goldbridge and these guys have been saying out the side of their mouth about them and stuff. And stick it up for the manager as well. Like I said, man, when it comes to Ten Hag, I'm Ten Hag in until the ship goes down. But wh what are you putting him on punishment for? Why are you putting Garnacho on punishment for liking a tweet? He has every right to like the tweet that he wants to like. It, it doesn't matter. So I really don't understand that. You know, Mark Goldberg is kind of probably taking this as a side eye W, but... At the end of the day, it's just putting more, it's, it's, it's just making everything toxic. You don't hear about this stuff at Man City. You don't hear about this stuff going on at Liverpool. You don't hear any of this stuff going on. Arsenal, chill out, Chelsea, no. Any of these teams, none of this stuff is going on. Man United's locker room, I wish I was in there. I, I guarantee it is probably so toxic right now at Man United. This is toxic. Every time, so every time the day flips forward, it seems like something new is going on. So now Mr. Ten Hag is going to punish Garnacho. He's going to put him on punishment for liking a tweet on his Twitter page. Now, people are obviously going to say, well, it's in his contract. He's not supposed to do that. What, in Section B, verse 1, 2, A, B, C? Way down in the contract, probably on page 50? This is what I'm saying. They give you these big contracts. Nobody's reading all that stuff. That's why. That's why I would have a contract lawyer because there's no way who who's reading all of this stuff. I mean, it'd be because see, that's what they do. They'll put it in crazy. They'll they'll use big words, big terms. 
um, all these exquisite words of what it says. So you're confused. So you don't know what you're signing. And then basically, you're locked in. You can't say anything. You can't do anything. You can't even like tweets. He didn't even comment up under the tweet. He just liked it. He can't even like the tweet. So Garnacho's going to go on punishment because he liked the tweet on Twitter. So he might not play in the next game or two. Who knows? So this manager's just burning bridges with people. And it's slowly just falling down like dominoes. Like in real time. It's crazy. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below, man. This is toxic. This is very toxic at Man United. Very, very toxic right now. It's crazy. You know, Alejandro Garnacho likes posts accusing um, Eric Ten Hag of throwing him under the bus. Well, I mean, if you're taking him off at halftime, if you're blaming him for everything, if you're throwing players under the bus, but you're not saying it's me as well, you know, I'm going to go run laps with those guys. You know, I'm going to get out there in the trenches with them. You're not in the trenches with them, Ten Hag. Get in the trenches with them. Run laps with them then. You're telling them to run 20 laps, whatever, as punishment for drawing? You run 20 laps. You get out there as well. You're part of the team. Even the assistant, all of them. But you're the main coach. Get in the trenches with them. You know? Everybody needs to work hard. Work hard. All this stuff. You know, keep your head down. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing on social media. Don't do nothing. Bro, Tim Hogg does not have the pull of like a Sir Alex Ferguson or a Pep Guardiola to be moving like this, bro. What does Ten Hogg want? I got to keep it a buck. Why does he, whoa, man, this dude is moving crazy, like he's wanted, like he's Pep or, or Sir Alex Ferguson or something, come on, man, you know, this FA Cup is it, if we go out of this FA Cup, it's a wrap, man, it's a wrap, it's gonna get even more toxic, you know, has been spoken to by Eric Ten Hag after the Manchester United winger liked tweets that criticized his halftime substitutions at Bournemouth and suggested that, so he got subbed off at halftime versus Bournemouth and suggested he'd been thrown under the bus. Well, I mean, if you're subbing a player off at halftime, that's that's a bad look. That's like, hey, you're not good enough, man. You're not good enough to finish the second 45 minutes. Come off the field. That's how that looks. You know, you're, you're, you're we're basically playing with 10 men. You know, when you sub somebody off at halftime, that's disrespectful. He did the same thing with Johnny Evans as well. He subbed Johnny Evans on. He wasn't 100% fit and then subbed him back off. You know how disrespectful that is? That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Man, getting subbed off at halftime. You know? You going at halftime, you're not coming back out the tunnel. That's crazy. Come on, man. And then they lost. And then we lost. Well, well, no, no, we drew. I, I saw losing two one, but in um, in the, the two uh, flaky goals. You know, it's crazy. Taking him off at halftime and holding him as the problem is a joke. You know, like I said, man, Ten Hag's in, in big trouble right now. Then he walked out of the press conference. The dominoes are falling. He walked out of the press conference. If we finish below seventh place, it'll be the worst finish in Man United's history. The dominoes are falling at Man United. I want you guys to let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think, man. And honestly, I don't... Man, this this FA Cup is it. Um, if he goes out, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Because it's, it, it's getting very, very toxic now. So, let me know in the comment section. Do you guys think Ten Hag will survive until the end of the season, into next season? Or do you think he'll be gone? I would love to hear your input down below. It's been a See you guys. Reporting the news. And I'm out. Peace out.